Hello and welcome. This session is on using the T-Bird 5800 V2 with the OTDR module connected to it. To get started, press the Fiber Optics tab at the top of the T-Bird 5800 V2. Then press the Home icon. Today we will be using the OTDR on the single mode port in the smart test mode. So click on the smart test icon. Then press the file icon. Go to the fiber folder, click on it to expand the view. Select the config folder, and there are many configurations stored. We want to use the JDSU Auto Test Single Mode OTDR configuration. Click on it to highlight in the upper right corner. Hit load. Then there is a load of smart config icon. Click on that soft key, and now it takes you to the setup page. We are just on the file page, now on the setup page. Typically, both wavelengths should be selected, so the OTDR will automatically detect bends. Typically, the distance unit is in feet, although it can be changed to kilometers or miles, and it shows that the JDSU Auto Test single mode configuration has been loaded. At this point, if you turn off the T-Bird 5800 V2, if you turn it on, the class to use the OTDR at that point is to simply hit the Start button, and a trace will be run. Prior to making any fiber connections to the OTDR, ensure everything has been inspected, both male and female connections, and there is a separate session that shows how to use the P5000i inspection probe on the T-Bird 5800 V2. Hit the Start Stop button, and now the OTDR trace will start. Notice the auto configuration message on the results page, and notice the connection check. If the OTDR is connected to clean, a good or green message will appear. If it's connected dirty, there's APC to UPC mismatch, and then there will be a bad connection. Typically, the OTDR will run for about 20 seconds. In this case, because it's an automatic mode, it picked 22 seconds. Now the OTDR will run the second wavelength. Notice the good connection check. This shows the OTDR was connected to clean, all fiber connections, were clean and the good connection check appears. Had it been a bad connection check, unplug, reinspect, clean, and plug in. In this case, it's taken 25 seconds. The OTDR trace is almost done, and now the results will appear. In the smart OTDR mode, a lot of information is displayed quickly. The total distance is displayed, the total loss is displayed, and the ORL is displayed. There's a preview of the screen in the upper left. Click on that, and the results table will appear. If you click on the icon for an event, it will display what it is. I click on the event two icon. It says that's the end of the fiber. If I click on the event one icon, it says it's a connector. Here's a one and a two up here in the upper right. This shows the results for 1310. 3,300 feet. If one is selected, it shows the results for 1550. 3,300 one foot. The total loss is over here, and the ORL is here. Once again, if we click in the upper left, a preview of all that information is available. If the results table is viewable, and the user can identify the problem, what is good, what is bad, this trace can be stored. Press the Fast Support button, select File plus PDF. In the upper right, select Save All. Hit the Clear button to type in a name. Hit the Enter button. Now, the trace will be stored as a trace, but it will also be stored as a PDF. Press the File Hard key. And it shows the trace is stored as a trace. It says help me, and there's a trace. And here it's help me as a PDF. 
if the PDF is highlighted, in the upper right there is a load. And now this trace can be viewed on the T-Bird as a PDF. It can be copied to a USB stick and emailed to somebody so assistance can be obtained with analyzing the trace. If the mapping software is loaded, then the trace will also identify problems. Restore to the config folder because it was highlighted. Whatever folder was highlighted is where the results will be stored. So once again, now that on the home page, the smart test, yellow single mode OTDR icon is highlighted. And on the keyboard page, if we go to the setup, we have both wavelengths selected. We have the auto test single mode. In order to use this OTDR next time, all that simply has to be done is turn it on, hit start, and the trace information will be obtained.